what's going on guys back here with a video first time in a while um i'm gonna do some ice fishing today on out on oneida lake um we're gonna be going for perch and then maybe a walleye or a smallie if they bite but i caught a couple uh big pickerel in northerns yesterday so might come across something big like that i'm just gonna be dead sticking a minnow right here as you guys can see that and then i'm gonna have another jigging rod in this hole probably with a spike or a minnow head um so i'm gonna get the heater going and then figure out how this whole setup's gonna work because i really haven't filmed in a while i just had to get all my gopro stuff back together so and this is also my first time filming ice fishing video so we're gonna see how this goes hopefully i have enough battery and storage life um i don't know if you guys can see too it's a freaking i want to see if i can tap the screen no i can't it's a freaking whiteout. <laughs> so hopefully i don't get snowed in today so yeah i'm gonna get this heater cranking i just got here to just drill these holes so um we get another line in the water and then we're gonna get fishing one thing i gotta worry about too is this ice has been pretty thin i mean right now it looks like it's around four inches but it was like inch and a half a few days ago so i was running this heater yesterday and i had to the point where there was only like an inch of ice so it was just a big puddle so i gotta be careful running this heater all day i'm gonna have to switch spots um one thing i noticed too is these fish come in waves so i'll be sitting here for an hour without a bite and then all of a sudden big school comes through and it's one after another so i might you know just wait to turn on my gopro until that school comes through or whatever but we'll see what happens probably keep it on for the first little bit here and then see the other biting this heater going a little chilly jerry rigged it nothing's touching no wires i don't know if this is gonna work covered in snow that, that's cooking so i'm just going to show you guys quick what i usually throw out here for people that don't ice fish a lot need some tips um so this is what i usually either run a minnow head on or dead stick a minnow it's just a little swedish pimple a little trouble hook on there hook the minnow in the tail see how he's swimming around and then i'll just dead stick that about three four inches off the bottom and then you know just keep glancing back and forth in my rods because every once in a while i was going dunk, dunk, and you just stay doubled over that's when you just pick it up and set the hook when that school comes through it's both rods doubled over simultaneously like it's fun so hopefully get a couple nice schools today like that get some jumbos and then i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna be jigging over here because i haven't even put this in the water yet i think these are called dots so it's just a little one hook, orange and white on both sides. I don't really like the ones that have color on one side and then the silver on the back. I don't really like those ones because the fish see the silver side and they're like, oh, what is that? But they see the, you know, the color way going all the way around when it's spinning. They don't think anything of it. That's just my opinion. But I'm gonna throw a couple spikes on this and then, oh, there goes my chair. I gotta get a new chair. It keeps breaking on me. So what I'll do with these, I'll just take them and hook them right to the top. I usually put two or three on there. They just dangle. Fish love them. Any species, crappy perch. I've caught pickerel, walleye, sunfish, you know, anything. We'll eat these. Just all around a little meal. Good. Got that all situated. Let's see how she looks. I'd eat it. There's one, guys. It's not a bad one. I might keep. Come on. Oh, no. What am I saying? Seven inch or six inch. -er. I'll take it. That's a good sign. First drop on the spikes. I haven't hit that minnow yet. Surprise. No perch. I thought he was bigger. He's actually giving me a little fight. I'll take my drag. Usually, those little ones don't do nothing. Come right up. Oh, I'm getting, look at my rod tip. Oh my God. That's the smallest perch ever. I think it was less than four inches. It's a good sign though. I, I felt weeds on the bottom. I don't think I've ever felt weeds in this area before. So that might be why I'm getting bites so quick. So yesterday I got here, right? It was still dark out and this is a dink. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, I yanked it out of his mouth. Oh my God, dude, that doubled over. 
The minnow. Still got this little thing. There's gotta be a school under me. Wow, five minutes into fishing. Like I was saying yesterday, I had to wait an hour just to get my first bite. First bite was 11 inch though, so I was like, I'll take it. Oh, I got my minnow over here. I can feel it. See, this is how it gets chaotic. Back, forward, back, forth, you know? Like I set this rod down, this rod gets a boy. I set that, like, both at the same time. I don't mind it, though. Another dink. Gotta weed through the small ones to get the big ones. Oh, he's got a... He's got my minnow in his mouth. Look at, look at. Oh, my God. That's nuts. So it wasn't a big one, I guess. I guess he just grabbed the minnow and I just pulled it out of his mouth, but that's kind of cool. Should let him eat it. Let's get the minnow back down there. It's been 10 minutes. There's already a puddle under me, about an inch deep. I don't like it. It's weird because I'll have days up here too where it's either dinks all day with an occasional big one or it's just only big ones. Or it's just, oh, look at the size of that thing. Today is going to be dink day. Hopefully the big ones mix in. Jeez. I did catch a few that size yesterday, but, you know, it was back and forth. Big one, small one. Big one, small one. So the next thing I'm getting is a uh, little Vexlar or Markham because um, you really don't need one when you're doing this type of fishing because these fish are just hungry and they just eat. And you can feel the bites and stuff. But when you're fishing finicky fish and stuff and... When you want to know the depth and you got to find, like be in the right holes, then it's definitely going to make a difference. So probably going to buy one. I went to Bass Pro yeah, uh, two days ago and I drove 40 minutes out there and they were sold out. So I wasn't happy about that. I probably should have called. Probably just order one offline one of these days. Where's the butt? Oh, it's a better fish, I think. I'm going to get close. I don't think he's going to keep. Yep. A little short. That's one of the days. Seven, seven and a half inch. Hopefully it's just school. Decent perch. Some people would keep him, but I'm let him grow. Get over ten inches. I usually keep you know nine and a half and up. A lot of people I know keep, you know, seven, eight inches, which there's nothing wrong with, but you know, I just let them grow a little bit more. Yeah. Oh wait. Huh, it's tightening my drag. It's small. so weird though i got here caught a bunch small ones and then went probably 15 minutes without a single bite and just caught those two back to back so i think they're just moving in little schools no big ones yet though not even a big bite i don't think i think this is bigger than the one that was actually biting it but dang we'll grow I'm actually curious. I'm not really sure. I don't feel like looking it up. If you guys know um, how long a, a perch that size, you know, four or five inches, how long that fish takes to get to like 12 inches. Like, is it one year, three years, five years? Like, if, if anybody knows for sure, uh, just drop a comment. I'm kind of curious. Oh, it's oh, a bit like a big one. Jeez. It's because he swallowed it. That's why he just dumped it. There has to be some big ones coming in soon. I think once it gets a little later this morning, start mixing in with some giants. Dude. Jeez. How's that impossible? Cute. Oh, that was a big bite over here. Oh, I got one. I think that's a keeper, guys. what I'm talking about. I hate catching these close ones like this. It's the biggest one I've caught today, but it ain't no 10 inch here. Crushed a minnow. Let's see. I don't know. Feels like a half inch bigger, literally. Oh God, it's so close. I'm just gonna throw them back. It saves about eight inches on the dot. Feels like eight and a half, I probably would've kept them.
Mm. Big bite over here. That's a good fish. This the one. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what we're after. It's like a nine and a half, ten inch perch, probably ten inches. Sure. Nice fish. Doubled over my minnow rod. Just choked it, kind of. He <laughs> just inhaled that minnow. Sweet. Let's go back here. Thank you, buddy. Still got my minnow. She's probably alive still, honestly. <laughs> it is alive. Imagine being that minnow. It's got swallowed by a 10-inch perch. We ripped up to the surface. Now you're getting dropped back down again. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, that'd be a good fish. Let's see if you can see what's going on. Some just like, oh, yep, yeah, look at that. God, oh, that's not a perch. What do we got? That's not good. Oh, it came off. About to find out if that's a pickerel. Oh, wait, no, that's probably a perch because I got, oh, something big on this rod. Something big. This might be the same pickerel I just lost. What is it? I think it is a damn pickerel. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Oh, my, oh, my line's getting free. My line's getting free. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, let's go. It's my first walleye through the ice. That's, dude, that's sweet. That's probably what I just lost on the minnow. Oh. Dude. I'm taking him outside quick. Back through the hole. Snow cleared up. There's some guys out there now, but this is freaking sweet. That's probably a 20 inch walla, at least. That's a oh, my dad's gonna be hype. Look at that, right in the top of the mouth. Sweet. First walla through the ice. I think I literally lost him on the rod to my left. I think I, lo I lost him. Set that down, set this rod down, and I looked over and this rod, boom, I picked it up, boom. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Oh, I love ice fishing, man. That's a sweet walleye. Nice. I got about 3% left on this battery, so I'm just gonna kind of burn through her and then get a new one, but that was pretty crazy. Still in shock. I'm just dropping back down now since I caught that walleye. That was unexpected, to say the least. First walleye through the ice, and in a spot where I wouldn't think they'd be. I'm trying to get one more fish for this battery, guys. Just perch or something. Oh, oh my God, it's the world's smallest fish. Came off. I think he was holding the grubs. All right, guys. Oh, there's a big fish on the minnow here. I don't think it's a perch. I really hope it's a walleye, but. I'm gonna guess it's a damn pickerel. We'll see. That's a big pickerel. Look at that thing. Jesus. He's gonna break my line. It's my last good. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. He's gonna grab his ass. Oh, the one I caught yesterday was a lot bigger, but uh, it's still, still a pretty big fish. Bent it, but I got it out. That's all that matters. Make sure I'm recording. I hate these things, but they're pretty cool. Predators, big predator in this lake. Pretty invasive though. They eat everything. All right. Hopefully that spooks in the way, and the perch come back. And that's why I haven't gotten a big perch in a while. I think things big enough to eat a 12-inch perch. <laughs> Right on this one. I don't think it's a big, but oh, you didn't have it. Look like you had it. Let's see if we can see him bite it. Oh, yep. Oh, that's, that's a good fish. I think it's a perch. Yeah. Seems like I caught that pickerel. The perch come back in. Sweet. He's a keeper. He's fatty. Nine and a half inch, I'd say. Nice. Glad you came back for it. Isn't that crazy how that works though? Literally, 
pickerels in the area, go an hour without a bite, catch the pickerel, pickerel spooks off, and then boom. Nice perch. Toss him with the other one out there. Sweet. There's one on the minnow, it's not big. Small minnows, big fish. Oh, he was holding on to the minnow, he didn't even have the hook. What the hell, he's hungry. Get back in there, buddy. There's one on this, this minnow. Oh, he didn't fight at all, but I think it will keep him. Nice. Can I enter? Sweet. Here's one. Small, but it got something. It's been a while. A couple bites here and there, but that's about it.